example. And you always do both sides. So we're gonna have her turn her head to the left. And then Ruby show you where you are. Right here is the angle of the jaw. And right here is in front of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is big, long muscle that runs right here. So can you lift your head up a little bit? Right there. So it sits right in front right here. And then this is the back angle of the jaw. And right in here is what they call C1, which is your atlas. And right there is where that styloid process is. So what we're going to do, you can use one hand, you can use two hands. I'm going to show you here. You got to take the skin right in this region. And you're just going to pinch it and then lift up a little bit. And you're just going to hold that pressure, that lift, anywhere from 15 to 45 seconds, somewhere in that ballpark. Most often, I'll tell you, I usually get around 45 seconds to a minute most of the time, no pain, right? Mm -hmm. And you use whatever is easier for you to get in there to lift. Now, you may have to move her head in different directions to get her to relax, but right there is a nice one. So I'm going to move this, the jaw a little bit back toward the center. There I go. I can get a little bit more of a good lift, and I'll hold that one. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And so right there, and I'll turn it to relax the tissue a little bit, and then I'm going to lift. Now, don't pinch too hard. And what this does is it decompresses, which it lifts up all that tissue that gets really, really tight and tender in there. And when you have excess tension in this region, it chokes off flow to and from the brain. That's not a good thing. Okay. And then since I'm here, I'll kind of show you another technique called the accordion technique, where what we're going to do is in this region, instead of lifting it and pinching it, we're going to come, it can be from above and below, it can be front to back. I like above and below. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring them closer together. We're going to approximate this tissue kind of like an accordion coming back. And then we hold that. So this creates the space in this region for things to drain. So I'm going to hold it just like this. And I would do the same thing, all right? 15 to 45 seconds. You can do this in conjunction with the skin lift, or you can do it um, in place of it. Sometimes I'll actually do both, especially when this area is really congested. And if somebody has a swollen lymph node in this region, you'll notice it quite easily and it'll be very tender and painful when you stick your finger right there. And remember the vagus nerve drops in that region too. And that vagus nerve is the most powerful nerve in the body to control inflammation, how your body responds to inflammation and to put you into that relaxed parasympathetic state, taking you out of the sympathetic, hypervigilant, dominant fight or flight mode where you're stuck in survival mode and everything gets tight and tense. And then you choke off flow of fluids to and from cells. That's not good over time because that'll lead to chronic pain, inflammation, and disease. So we just put this together right here and we hold it. It usually feels pretty good. That feels good, nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's actually very, very relaxing. And you can do the same thing to yourself. And then I'm going to relax. One of those powerful areas of the body that people do not work, but now you're gonna. 